Far-right groups plan to rally in Washington to support Trump's voter fraud claims Far-right groups and other supporters of U.S. President Donald Trump plan to descend on Washington on Saturday amid heightened tensions over the result of the disputed November 3 election. Republican Trump has refused to concede the election to Democrat Joe Biden, the projected winner of the race, claiming that widespread voter fraud has taken place. While some irregularities have been reported in key battleground states, election officials have said they are not serious enough to affect the outcome of the vote. Trump's backers, including his Republican allies in Congress, have amplified his claims that the election was stolen from him. Far-right groups have been promoting an event online in an effort to further the president's claims of election fraud. The protests in the nation's capital will bring together a wide array of such groups, including Oath Keepers Militia and the Proud Boys. Some left-wing groups are planning to stage counter-demonstrations. The Trump supporters, who plan to rally near Freedom Plaza, just east of the White House, have given their rallies different names, including the Million MAGA March, the March for Trump, and Stop the Steal DC MAGA, is an acronym for Trump's campaign slogan Make America Great Again. Officials are worried that the mix of far-right groups and counter-protesters could lead to violence. Christopher Rodriguez, director of Washington's Homeland Security and Emergency Management, said his agency was tracking about a dozen groups that had indicated they would attend on Saturday. Jared Holt, a visiting fellow at the Atlantic Council's Digital Forensics Research Lab, told The Hill that several of the groups participating in the events have raised the specter of civil wars. This rally comes at a time where passions among Trump supporters are extremely high, Holt said. And some of the more extreme groups that are planning to show up here have been speaking in increasingly exaggerated rhetoric, talking about coups and civil wars. In addition to rallies in Washington, the opposing groups have planned demonstrations in major cities across the United States. In a tweet on Friday, Trump suggested that he might even participate in the D.C. event. Here coming to see all of the tremendous support out there, especially the organic rallies that are springing up all over the country, including a big one on Saturday in D.C. he said. I may even try to stop by and say hello. This election was rigged, from Dominion all the way up and down. Law enforcement was on high alert last week over fears of election violence that did not come to pass. Fears of violence also prompted some businesses to close in the capital. Washington Mayor Muriel Bowser said at a news conference this week that city police continue to be prepared. Our police chief will have a similar posture this weekend as he did last week. We will be there to support peaceful First Amendment demonstrations, he said. The only group that has applied for and received a permit for the rally is Women for America First, 